Russian tattoo artist detained for hurting the feelings of Christians with her tattoos. <laughs> Those poor, poor Christians are so oppressed. <laughs> <laughs> a young tattoo artist from St. Petersburg, Russia, was recently detained for insulting religious believers with controversial tattoos featuring Jesus Christ, uh, the cross, and other Christian symbols. Daria uh, Krich, Krichker is facing up to one year in jail for her crimes. According to the Orthodox activist group that filed a complaint against her, she has committed uh, repeated gross blasphemous acts against Christ, <laughs> the Mother of God, and the saints of the church, which cannot be tolerated on Russian soil. It all started earlier this month when photos of a tattoo reported, uh, reportedly inked on uh, Kritschker's own calf went viral on social media. It showed Jesus on the cross having an orgasm which isn't the kind of creative work that religious people would appreciate. Uh, it's weird. Many would describe it as disgusting, but in Russia, such a tattoo can uh, literally land you behind bars. In Kritschker's case, the above-mentioned tattoo was only the beginning. Once the hounds were unleashed, they started sniffing around for other controversial tattoos, and they made sure they found them. Soon, dozens of national news publications were featuring pictures of kittens peeking out of crosses, uh, churches with inverted reflections, an anime-style girl sitting on Jesus' lap, all designed to create the image of a, a troublemaker. Uh, before long, the authorities became involved. The young tattoo artist was detained at the airport just as she was getting ready to fly to uh, Yerevan in Armenia. A criminal case was opened against her under Article 148 of the Criminal Code of the Russian Federation, a violation of the right to freedom of conscience and religion. And she risks up to one year in jail. Considering she has a clean record, she will likely get away with a large fine. Dario told interrogators from the Center for Combating Extremism that it had never been her intention to offend Christians, but that excuse is unlikely to get her off the hook. Oh, and those controversial tattoos the religious activists found, apart from the one uh, of Jesus on the cross with a big smile on his face, they were actually the work of another tattoo artist who happens to be the owner of the tattoo shop Dario works at. No criminal case has been opened in her name yet. Uh, there should be no images of cats, dogs, horses, monkeys, or any other inclusions or other details that profane holy religious symbols, since this is disrespect for sacred things and blasphemy. The Orthodox activist group 4040 wrote in a statement, This tattoo artist consistently and systematically made tattoos with caricatures of icons and with inverted temples, and with blasphemous inscriptions mentioning God and hanging crosses on the waist and other things. We are talking about deliberate, thoughtful actions. Um, if kittens insult your faith, then I have serious, serious uh, doubt about its strength, the tattoo artist said. I mean... Um, I didn't get the animal part. How is that offensive? I know. I, I can kind of get these people, like... <laughs> getting uptight about like the anime girl sitting on Jesus's lap and stuff. But like literally like one of these tattoos is just like a cross and it has a bunch of kittens in it. Like, you know, peeking out, out of the cross. I'm like, yeah. most people like even Christians would find kittens adorable. And right. I wouldn't think would be like, so offended That'd by be that. A positive image for most people. Yeah. You would think so. But yeah. uh, apparently in Russia, uh, they're a little more even uptight than it sounds like than our Christians, which is saying something. Right. And, you know, I don't know if this is just propaganda in the U.S., but from what I understand, the Soviet Union was, like, not religious. They they kind of got rid of religion, didn't they? Like, they were anti-religion? Um, I don't know. I, I, I had heard before that there was, like, a strong Christian, like, community in, in Russia, but I didn't really know the extent of it. But this makes okay. it sound like uh, Russia – I don't know about the – other countries surrounding Russia, but it sounds like Russia in particular is like, yeah, very Christian. Orthodox Christian. Yeah. yeah. Jesus indeed. <laughs>